Hello everybody, welcome to the World Championship official cast of the Group I match between Zapatsky and Seville's. Uh, this is a replay because, you know, there were loads of games on the same day. Um, so we are having a look at this on the replay. We've got Zapatsky with Undead. Has taken the secondary skill, that was an option for Tier 1 teams. A few people took it, to be fair. We've seen a Mighty Blow Dancer. Um, a guard catcher on wood elves and now I see a block mummy but it is giving up a lot right giving up like both of these could have had guard but instead one's got block or you know he could have had two ghouls with block to just give it to one mummy so I mean it does it does make it more reliable to hit on two dice and it means you're more likely to knock over with two dice with three dice it's making less of a difference but it's you know it's still it's still making more knockdowns and protecting him more so it's not terrible, it's not what I would have done, but it's okay. Um, guard, blitzer, tackle blitzer, block, ghoul, and sure hands ghoul. That is all quite standard. You can be mine. Thank you very much, misspelled tree, what a massive raid, thank you very much. Welcome, welcome tree and tree viewers to uh, this replay cast. We've got Ratoga with Juggernaut here. This is very much like the Olivier Dulac Euroball build. Um, most of the skills are the same. Guard, Mighty Blow, Strip Ball, Block, Sidestep, Leader, Juggernaut. The only thing that's missing is a Wrestle Gutter Runner. Like Basically, everyone's having to drop one skill from that. That is the blueprint for Skaven. And uh, they're all just having to choose which one they drop. And then they also like maybe lose a reroll or a reserve or whatever. Like so there's a bit, there's a little bit of uh, of wiggling and jiggling to see what they do. But here we go. You can of course join whatever you want, tree. And if you want to do your match earlier, you can. So there we go. It uses the block, but you know would have rolled a power anyway. Interestingly, would have got three dice if the uh, mummy had guard, so, you know, already maybe guard would have been better. We'll we'll just never know. It, 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 you can't judge it by how it goes in the original games as well. Like, uh, There's pros and cons. I personally really value primary skills, though. I think it's too expensive to take doubles. I would not, well, secondaries. I would not take secondaries. I would, I would have only come primaries, really too expensive. Oh, was that a, uh, an officious ref making a stun ghoul? Did not notice that whatsoever. But never mind. Sure hands gets the pick up. Um, that obviously negates the strip ball here. Completely. Alright, that's why it's setting up the three... Three and a two, though. And runs across. And also exposing a gutter. Of course, the strip ball gutter not as good for this match with having a sure hands ghoul. But, you know, it's good in, like, the second phase, right? If you can pop the ball and then they're reduced to putting on somebody else, then you the strip can come in. But, yeah. Not as good, obviously, when somebody has sure hands. So really just a sidestepper for the one turn, and uh, a block is kind of like a ball carrier. Here we go, so the undead have just got to smash in, haven't they? They've got to smash in, use their strength, and their guards, and uh, their tackle here. Yeah, we're going for a three dice on the block. That, that guy was a little bit exposed, wasn't he? I wonder... If, if, I don't know if that was like a plan to uh, to distract to distract him from a, a the you know this lineman hit, but uh, that was a very uh, very juicy target. I really don't like the mummies not being in contact. Right, I would have definitely put this mummy up into here. And then, like, maybe he's protected in there, but... Yeah, Calcium, I'm, I'm not either, I'm not either. Like, 
I don't want to say it's terrible because you know I I I wasn't a fan of the uh, Lizardman build, but then it had some good things. So there you go. Spartacus last night did not like his build, but he used it well. And uh, there you go. yeah, exactly. Yeah, nothing's awful, is it? To be fair. It's a full power using the guard. Cheeky rush. Uses a reroll on this into Dub Skulls. <laughs> um, so I guess what he was doing here, he did that block and re-rolled it so that the Rat Ogre could run around, right? Three, four, five, six. I imagine the plan was to get the Rat Ogre on the ball. But the problem is if you do that, he just gets smashed by a block mummy. So I would have probably just eaten the ball down there. It's all right, isn't it? It's all right. And then save your re-rolls for the one turn or a ball sack. But I have to imagine that he, he was trying to get the Rat Ogre on the ball. the POW to no effect. Yeah, the dub skull might have saved his rogue, yeah, maybe. Tackle blitzing the gutter. Again, leaving a hitable, right? Could have gone one back. But luring in, luring in the... Uh, Got to run a hits. Zero AV breaks, yep. Titanium Skaven are pretty strong, to be honest. Well, there's no obvious hit at the cages there, but we can just punch. Punch this mummy here. And uh, that's why you should never let your mummies get punched. <laughs> like, it was a very far forward mummy, wasn't it? And, uh,. You know, they're only AV10+, plus. like, I know that's high, but it's still, it's still not that ridiculous. Like, you know, they're just a 2D, I mean, this one actually wasn't a defensive player, right? He had block, so it's 55% of getting down, so it's 75. Usually it's 75% of get them down. And, you know, they're usually defenseless, and okay, they're strength 5. But if you can get the hits on them, you can get the hits on them, so you really have to try and stop people getting hits on them, I think. Now you still got to use them, you know, so it's tough, it's tough because, you you know, you've got to, like, use the mummies to protect each other or, like, you know, position a zombie to protect them, things like this. But, like, you really, really, really have to not get your mummies removed. I mean, it's, it's tricky, though, isn't it? It's tricky. It's, like, it's not, it's not as simple as just smash with them every turn because then you will end up with them exposed but then you also don't want to just cower in fear and not use them at all so could surf this uh, ghoul here don't know if he'll bother I mean I guess it kind of exposes the gutter runner if he does so oh well done Right, Olga, most reliable big guy in the game. What a player. What a great player. Kaz is its own player. Yeah, standard Right, Olga. Absolutely standard Right, Olga. But now he gets a lot of pressure on the backside here. The problem is leaving the front a little bit exposed, but uh, I guess he can have... Yeah, block this and then have the, a wall of like three or four players. Mm, I might have, I might have used, I might have done that a little bit differently, but yeah, it's quite good that the sidestep is holding the edge. Oh god, it's too fast, isn't it? It's too fast. It's too fast. So you've got a couple of options. You can either blitz the roger with the mummy, and then try and punch up here and 
and like clean this out here or just move into here it's turn five so you could you can just blitz that or you can try and turn the edge right like blitz with tackle here and uh and just dodge away off the roger like it's not that bad right 75 percent like yes a 25 percent to lose the game isn't good but you know you're you're in the situation so i mean you probably are going to try and blitz with the mummy which is what one two three it's a gfi and oh and there's a guard there as well stopping you so you need to bring in the guard here so, i mean i guess you've just got to I, I guess you could punch this one first and maybe power him i guess you have to blitz the roger with the mummy and uh and forget running up the side here because a one in four to lose the game is pretty significant and he's followed so he's not blitzing with a mummy So he's going for this up there, so I'm not a great fan of this play just because you don't have the support. As well, as well as the one in four to lose, you just don't really have any support up there. So he doesn't fail the one in four to lose. Uh, are you doing more here, buddy? No, we're just fine with an instant two dice on the ball. I don't know why I didn't split it. Is doing a dodge to blitz with the block? Yeah, that's a bit greedy. But the, well, I say greedy. He hasn't got block, has he? He hasn't got block, so. Hmm. Maybe it's worth it. I don't like the chance of I'm just failing the one in nine and not getting anything though. But also, probably should have, like waited to react with uh, one of the gutters, right? One of the gutters should have waited to react there just for the payoff to be so much bigger. Yeah, that I hate. I hated that from the net. From the I nearly said necro from the undead. Yeah, I think the better play was to was to simply blitz the roger and stay where you were more or less. Like it's not great, but it's better than just an absolute potato. Like th this this gutter run and punching the the. Cool, rather than punching the gutter, could have run up and like, you know, I, at least made like an eye cage. That was, uh, yeah, that was wild. But somehow he's got this tackle free, and can just go and pick it up. I really hated the uh, not like moving both gutters before, like moving all your gutters before you were gonna pop the ball is questionable. Maybe he should have rushed back, so you could try and high cage him. Like if this if this guy, after he picked it up, he could have made another rush back. Then this school could have gone there, and then this school could have gone one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, rush, rush. So he could have been in an eye cage at least instead of yeah another. Potato again, it looks like we're going to dodge to hit with block. Maybe the gutter's going to come through. No, the gutter can't. I think that's... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I mean, I really hate the one in nine dodge first. I really hate it. Okay, so now... Oh, we're coming in with a strip now, of course, because he's already cleared it from the uh, sure hands guy, so now we can come in with a strip. This is completely fine. Errata, errata. Errata, errata, yeah, the, yeah, yeah. No, I, I, I was just brain farted because I was thinking there was the uh, sure hands. So no, here it's completely fine to come in with a sure hands, yeah. Yeah. Fails the dodge. 
I mean, I knew the stripper was there, but again, I was just thinking, oh, he's got show hands. Bootlegging. Yeah. Oh, wow, look. That, that was a zombie block as well. Nice. Oh, only pushes. Four dice, a defenseless gutter. Oh my god, what's that like? Is that what? What is that? That must be like 90% ish, right? M more than 90%? Like 93%? 94%? Fail. Pretty unlucky. Gutters away. Two gutters are easily out. Oh wow, rogue blitz with nobody next to him. <laughs> He's trying obviously to power him and then run around a little bit. Oh, and that's had to go into a scoring range. It was turn seven. Oh, didn't he have one, two, three, four, five, six? G rush, rush. So he is one, two, three, four, five, six. Rush, rush. He is in range, but he could. Couldn't he have uh, like blocked here? there and, and then gone around and like filled in these two squares and pushed him a square closer but yeah you know would have been good he kind of had to leave the, the white back door blitz because he had to get this one in range right so i guess the plan was to the blitz with the rogue is like one two three four five six and that seals the top side and then this oh no but you still no you still need the gutter in range you have to have the gutter in range so Probably just had to rely on like a dodge out to uh, to seal the the rear. <laughs> so there you go, double double rush and double ones. Wow. <laughs> oh, sorry, I've got the blue and red on. Oh. Okay, no, actually, these are pretty close together. Let's let's leave it on blue and red. That was lucky. I, yeah, unfortunately, last game they they were really close colours, so I um, had that red and blue on by default. But you know, you can see you can see what they had. It was it was actually Dimmy G colours, black, green, and yellow here for Zapatsky. Dimmy G tribute and uh, just default for surveillance, I think. I don't know, maybe it's a bit more grey than normal, eh? Yeah, a bit grey. Yeah. This, these, these are pretty close, actually. I'm happy with red and blue. So, um, let's pause it and catch up here. What, what are we looking at? Three, six, nine Skaven. They're one nil up, so they have the freedom to score early. So, Zapatsky had to cover the whole field, which he did. Um, and we're like, this is, I guess, a conventional offense, right? We've got the throwback. Any of these gutters can make a break for it if he has. It's really tough to defend elves or rats that can score on every turn, on any turn they want. So you've really, really got to keep the furthest forward gutters under control. He cannot afford a breakaway. He kind of wants to keep somebody back as a safety. Probably shouldn't have put the tackle on the side, right? The tackle should have probably been one of the central players more defended. 
Um, so, because he's going to have to keep like the block go back as the safety, and just try and pressure as much as he possibly can. Well, we are of course blitzing the air uh, go. Funnily enough, he got his he got his mummy back. That could have been a disaster, couldn't it, if he hadn't got that back? Oh, we're going to surf the roger. So. The problem with this is it's taking four players. And the question is, can you cover everything else while doing this? And maybe you can. It's actually kind of like better to base the Lyman than the uh, gutters, right? Because they can just the, the gutters are just going to one in thirty six through anyway, so you can't really stop them. But uh, by base and lineman you can. I don't like this guy being here. I'd have definitely tried to put him up here, and then this guy connected with him as well, right? So a player here and a player here, something like this, so you can keep this all screened after this guy gets knocked over. Wow, ball right in the end zone. Maybe maybe the rats could have just dackered here, right, rather than this. <laughs> Which is getting things punched. And a roger served. But making all the three pluses. hate it when they do that. <laughs> so yeah, all the safe moves first. And again trying to trying to control the furthest forward gutters. So to do that, this guy's really gotta drop back, right? And then get these as far across as forward as possible. So I don't like blitzing this one. It is three dice with Mighty Blow and he's re-rolling it, wow, to hunt for the power. And he's got block, so he does, you know, it was very good. And he goes to base the ball, oh wow, okay. Okay, so this was brave. Double wand another rush. There's a Patsky getting a little bit of gym dice here. <laughs> And I think we're just going to take the score now because again the furthest cut was was left free, right? So he went for the no good, no glory play, but unfortunately, oh excitement! There we go. That's two nil for the rats, and uh, that's funny because that was literally exactly what I said happened. <laughs> but you know what can I say? Um, yeah, I think if he just, you know, if he just been blitzing the furthest forward gutter and really trying to control the gutters in front, just don't let them score quickly, you know. Do not let them score quickly. Then maybe you can get a draw out of this. But it's just so easy for Russ to just smoke you, right? Like, you know, you take your eye off the ball for a turn and they're gone, and and that's what happened there. Now, okay, it could have had a positive effect if he based the ball, and uh, maybe you know, maybe that would have, maybe he could have even pushed for the win at that point, but. Very risky. I think the safer play was to was just keep them in front of you. Nice cars. Yeah, time out here. Yeah. I mean, I guess there is technically a chance it can come back from this. So it's just hard, all right, against Skaven. No matter how few players they've got, it's so easy for them just to bang one in if you if you score early. They're just hard to beat, aren't they? Even if you even if you slaughter them like four cars here, even if you slaughter the scape, and it's just so easy for them to bang one in. In response, did not get a scoring threat this turn, which like he had to, right? Like you have to score. As much as you want to foul this guy, you just have to have scoring threats because you have to score as quick as possible to give yourself the chance to turn them over again. Like losing 2-1 here doesn't really get you anything. You have to throw the kitchen sink at this to try and get the draw. Mm, 
quite a quite a cautious defence from surveillance. And, uh, three dice. It's a good question, Quincy. I'll answer after this, or somebody else will. <laughs> Unfortunately, the replays are so fast that they require a fair amount of concentration. And it probably is a... Uh, so now he's got the nice cage up and he should be scoring on turn 14, which will give him two turns to turn over and get the win. But you know, maybe, maybe surveillance will get in the way. Got some gooders. I mean, you can, but then it takes ages, right? <laughs> you can literally, you can, what you can do is you can pause it after every move, right? Like, so you can play and then pause. And then you can say, ah, right, he failed. He failed on all savagery, so now. He's going to choose who he bites. He bites him. Knocks out his own player. Brilliant. And then you've like got to pause mid-move, right? And then and then play and pause. And like, it's just weird. Like, it's so disjointed to do it player by player. Like, you can. But it's really hard and really clunky. So it's easier just to do it, watch it really fast. And if there's anything critical, then pause it afterwards. Oh yeah, it is, it is space, but... <laughs> but like, this is just weird, right? Like, it's just, it's so, it's so disjointed and takes error. Yeah, it's, it, that's not good. The best way is to just play the whole thing out and then pause if there's something complicated. I think so we just hand off and then Dodge score, can he dodge score here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, rush, rush. Yep, so it's hand off, dodge, double rush to score. And he does it. Excitement, woo! So it's two, one. How many players are left? Eight players for the scale. So, they're still looking pretty good to just, like, not get turned over, right? Eight players is totally fine. JD Weather doesn't give him the touchback. Instant scoring threat. Going in with a rogue here is a little bit risky, right? With a loner, but does that no problem? So he's running away, oh, running away with a couple of things. So trying a bit of both, right? Try, trying to play every an angle here. We've got a thin screen to make them want to blitz that to get through, but then got a couple of guys back, so it's not just, you know, completely isolated, and we've got the scoring threat as well. So, of course, the thing that he's done here is the first thing he's done is blitz with him, whereas he could have done the safe moves first and moved this guy in, base this, base this, base this, right? Could have based everything before he did the blitz. Um... Also, could have just two dice blitz, seeing as he's got block. Hand off to the throw and pass is a pretty terrible move, right? Because you're one in nine just to lose then. So, more likely you're going to dodge your gutters back to, to screen somehow. But yes, the idea of that means that this gutter is a potential stolen threat. Now, 
comes back to activate the rogue. Oh, no, he's going in the corner. Okay, I'm not a big fan of the going in the corner. Really not a big fan of the going in the corner. But I guess he's so far away and he gets the screen as well. So yeah, okay. Ooh. Didn't need the second rush, right? Didn't need the second rush. Um so yeah. So this so like the thing is, like in the corner like this, you know, a five plus to surf you is pretty easy. But I guess the fact that he you know, he, he did have this to come afterwards makes it uh makes it a bit safer. And like this one getting tagged on him. So it'd be like a four five five, but still, I, 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 you know, I don't, I don't like it. I don't, I don't like it. I feel like that was probably a better play, but I mean, this certainly works, doesn't it? You've got this pretty hard. Like it's not it's not a terrible it's not a terrible defense. I just feel like there was something better. Wait, he blocked with the ghoul? Come on man. This ghoul was the one that should have been going for the score, right? The score, the the hit. This this is this is the ghoul that could have gone in. I thought. I don't know. Anyway, he well, he did go with the other guy who killed himself trying to make the dodges. But I mean, this one could have reacted right and scored or picked the ball up. The ball is going to go in like down this line or down this line or, or across here. So this would have been a good guy to get the ball. Um, where he could just punch with a mummy, I don't know. To be fair, he's losing 2-1. Massive, um, massive pressure, playoff nerves and stuff. So, you know, completely forgive anybody of anything. Uh, and plus, you know, like, people have their own things in their head and uh, tunnel vision their own way, and I'm probably just tunnel visioning and not seeing what he saw, so, you know, no offence. Sorry, Zapatsky, for if I was too critical there. But, you know, commiserations to him, congratulations, surveillance. Thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.